Hey, welcome back, friends. Got an exciting video for you today. We're going to unbox the Shocker Hitch. I'm excited to finally get one of these. I've had hundreds of you ask me if I've tested one. I have not, but hey, we're about to start. So stick around today. We're going to show you the Shocker Hitch. Before we get started, help us pay some bills and check out today's video sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by RVMattress.com, a Brooklyn bedding brand. So our family has enjoyed RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding's mattresses for over a year now. We love them and we're confident you will as well. This particular model is called the Dream Foam Essential, which just won Good Housekeeping's 2023 Family Travel Award for having a big variety of sizes without sacrificing comfort, making it the perfect mattress on the road. With your RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding, you get a 120-night sleep trial and a 10-year warranty. For our family, the RV is our place to recharge for the next day. So a comfortable night's rest is important, not just for mom and dad, but for the kids too. Thank you RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring today's video. So head over to rvmattress.com slash wondering and use our code wondering to get 25% off your next mattress. Now let's hop back into today's video. Okay guys, let's jump right in. So this box is labeled Shocker Air Equalizer for Weight Distribution Hitch Air Hitch Base. And you've got some quality control stuff here. That's good, that's a good sign. And then this one over here is labeled Shocker XR. Ball mount, 10 hole base frame with two D handle pins, 16,000 gross trailer weight, fits two and a half inch hitch. Uh, that looks like that's gonna be my shank. So uh, yeah, thank you Shocker for sending this stuff out. I, you know, I actually reached out to them years ago and I wanted them to be a part of our hitch battle. I wanted to experience their product. That's I've always been intrigued by it. And uh, yeah, they just never got back with me. And, and I get it, I, you know, some wacky YouTuber reaching out and, and asking you for free stuff is kind of weird. But now I guess we've got enough reputation to where um, they reached out to me this time. So here we go, a couple of uh, little information here, a little brochure. Shocker hitch. So if you're not sure what this, where this is going, you can see they've looks like they got one for a gooseneck as well. Make sure that's in the middle. This is the one I think we're going to go with here. I didn't realize they were red. I know I've seen it. It looks like a class six color before. I've seen those, and this one it looks like maybe black. And this may just be the shank. All right, can you guys see that? All right, let's get a little bit better angle here. All right, here we go. Pretty nicely packaged. This box here weighed, I think, 38 pounds. Let's get her out of here. And you can see, there's our bladder right there. I don't know if all this is going in frame or not. All right, let's get this out of the way here. All right, there we go. Very interesting. Just having a look here, having a little look-see. I'm gonna show it to you on the actual truck here in just a minute. But you can see this looks, this bladder looks very similar to like an air ride suspension on, uh, on like a tractor trailer. So yeah, let's see if there's anything else. Let me move this to the side. See if there's anything else in this box. I don't think there is. No, there's not. Okay. So that's that box. Again, I'll show it to you here on the truck. I know it's, I mean, I've come across as anything special yet, but I think it's going to be pretty cool. Make sure you got that in frame there. All right, there we go. Get that out of the way of my tripod. What is this here? I don't even... I have no clue what this part is either. More pamphlets, more information. Very good. This is gonna be, okay, for campers. Again, they got a fifth wheel option right here, it looks like. You can see that where that converts to a gooseneck. I'll, I'll link all of this in the description box. You can do some shopping around and looking around. And this, yeah, this is gonna be my shank here. This is just a, a two and a half inch shank. Make sure you can see that. Yeah, two and a half inch shank. 
that accepts a weight distribution hitch. You can see that is going right there, and they've got the pins here. Let's get it on the truck so you got a little bit better idea of what we're talking about here. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get this semi hooked up. I'm, I'm not going to actually hook it to the trailer today, but I'm going to show you about what's going on here. So you've got your shank here, and I'm not going to... I'm going to choose the, the closer hole for now. You know, I'm, I'm not going to do any adjusting today. I'm just going to give you an idea of what's going on. Go ahead and get this pin back in there. This little locking pin. I do like the locking pins on stuff. I think this one's from Waysafe. Or, you know, everyone sells them at these days. But, uh, yeah, after that, then let's get these two pins out here. Nice build, so I mean, I like the build so far. Got a little play there. Let's see what we got. That's gonna slide in here. Obviously, we're gonna have to make some adjustments to height. All right, I think we, we're not doing that today. We're not, this is not an install. I'm just giving, like I said, I'm just giving you an idea of what this unit looks like. Okay, now, after that, they've actually sent me a Reese hitch to strap on here. Let me show you that. Okay, now, just give you, again, just to give you an idea of how this is gonna work. Unfortunately, I don't think they make one of these for uh, like a way safe, okay? So it's gonna have to have this specific two inch gap right here for your weight distribution, but you're gonna slap this bad boy on here, right there. And then right there and you can see now you're going to have your your traditional weight distribution arms coming off of that and basically the thought process is this is just going to give you a much smoother ride like i mean why wouldn't it right i mean you got a nice little cushion so what we're going to do to test this um, this is going to be a summer's long process you know how i roll i don't i don't just strap it on ride five miles down the road and then come back and and tell you how it goes but uh, i will give you a first impression video but for the official review what we'll do is we'll strap this bad boy on we'll put several hundred miles on it and then i will give you i'll share my experience with it my opinion on it but uh yeah you can see how it's working but what we'll do to test this one we'll we'll use um the reese which is good we actually get another hitch to review right we'll use the reese without the shocker and then we'll use the Reese with the shocker and see what happens. I'm interested to see, but yeah, I've been, I've been talking, uh, been wanting to talk to these guys for a long time. Just got lost, you know, probably my email probably went to the junk file or whatever, but uh, I'm glad they finally reached out to me and now we get to test it out. So if you want to see that, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Um, also on this video, I also wanted to give you guys, let me talk to you guys a little bit. I want to give you guys an update on the B and W continuum. So, a couple of video go, go, videos ago, I, I shared with you I had a a, um, a less than desirable experience with the B and W once we hooked it up to a larger trailer. B and W since has reached out to me, and they're actually sending out an engineer here to Georgia to troubleshoot this issue. So I, I'm grateful for that. I don't want to be a one hitch guy. You know, right now I tend to when people ask me for suggestions on hitches. You know, I can't give you a solid answer because I haven't experienced your setup, but generally I tend to lean towards the uh, the Waysafe products or the TR3, sometimes the Equalizer, sometimes the Anderson in special situations. But uh, And I would love to, to keep the B&W on that list. It was on that list, very highly rated on that list for a long time. Um, I, but I don't want to be a one-hitch guy. I want to be able to suggest as many hitches as I can, uh, the ones that I like, the ones that I've had good experiences with. And so B&W is going to come out. It is completely possible that I had a bad setup. Completely possible. Now, I, I shared with that video that I, uh, I did make adjustments. I tried to, if I had set it up incorrectly, I adjusted it to where it had more tongue weight. B&W still thinks I didn't have enough, but I, I continued to add tongue weight to it, which I think was the issue, but I couldn't get it right. And so, uh, so it didn't perform well, and maybe they can fix it. You know, I'm, I have no doubt they're probably smarter than me in that department. So. Yeah, that'd be exciting to share that with you guys that B&W is coming out and actually uh, bringing a couple of engineers and we will troubleshoot and see if we can fix that issue. I know a lot of you guys have reached out to me saying, hey, I just bought a B&W. Um, 
yeah, please update us. And so there you go. There's the update. I think they're coming out at the end of April. So I think April 20 something. And so that video should be, I'll get it out as soon as I can. It, um, you know, there shouldn't be much editing there or anything like that. So I'll get it out really, really quickly. But today I just wanted to share with you guys the shocker hitch, the fact that we are going to start testing this thing probably after the BMW. Will we try to fix the BMW? Then we'll move on to the shocker. We'll use it most of the summer. And uh, yeah, I know it takes a long time. I know it's against YouTube rules. YouTube wants it here now fast. That's just not how we roll, okay? Um, I want to live with it. want to see. I can already tell I can use my tailgate, so that's good. Um, but I want to live with it. I want to see how it is to, uh, to use and live with. And also different, different situations. So we got to have it in different situations. You guys know that as well. If you haven't been with the channel, go back, check out some of our towing videos, check out some of our hitch videos, and you'll get a better idea of where we're coming from. And you'll also get an idea of why Shocker reached out to me finally. And uh, I'm happy to have this hitch on board. So, hey guys, we're over 75,000 subscribers. I am so grateful. Thank you so much. So is my family. Uh, I, myself and my family are very grateful for that. Um, it allows us to do stuff like this, which I think will be fun. So thank you. Really appreciate it. Guys, I hope you're being safe out there. See ya.